excited. Um, we got to tip your hat to your opponent. Um, awesome atmosphere. Um, our fans were phenomenal. Um, just a great environment to play play in, and thought everybody here did an awesome job. Um, just getting you know like Maryland Day all set up. So fantastic uh, opportunity. Unfortunately, didn't make the most of it, but uh, certainly got to give credit again to your opponent. Uh, just. Obviously started off great and then uh, just kind of got out of our flow offensively and then had some breakdowns and, and they were great capitalizing it. Questions? Eric? Uh, 16 goals, uncharacteristic for you guys. Uh, last time it happened was in 2013. What were some of the breakdowns that you just talked about and um, how can you correct those going forward? Yeah, I think it's obviously we're going to look at the film and, um, you know, with uh, it's just interesting, you know, with the league play coming back, you know, four days later and playing the same opponent. So certainly we'll be breaking that down tonight and take a look at it. Um, you know, just, you know, I think everything in lacrosse is complimentary. Um, you know, when you're winning faceoffs, your defense is more rested. Um, when you clear better, you're, you're better rested. Um, you know, when obviously you have longer possessions on offense, it helps your defense. So I, I felt like we put our defense in, in a really tough spot at times, um, especially after the first quarter. I thought like in the first 10 minutes there, we had good possessions, we had good flow. Um, and then after that, you know, just whether it was not winning faceoffs um, or failing to clear um, or missing a grounder, um, you know, and, and having short possessions, we just put a lot of pressure on them. Um, you know, and I thought in the middle of the field there were some ground ball opportunities we just didn't take advantage of. There were some backups we didn't get. Um, you know, luckily I think those are things that are correctable. Um, I think uh, you know we're going to have to look at the film, and guys are just going to have to deal with it. You know, look and say, all right, these are some mistakes we made. It's not a personal attack. We just got to clean these things up. I know they're competitive guys. Um, I know we'll get good leadership from our guys, um, you know, and we'll just have to um, kind of get through this, improve, and, and obviously look forward to the opportunity to get to our conference tournament. Right. How's this set up in looking at film in a short week? How does that change your schedule? Yeah, we'll give them tomorrow off. Um, you know, the guys that have worked hard all week, we'll give them a day uh, tomorrow. We'll get back at it on Monday. Um, you know, we'll try to break everything down for them and, and pick out some of the key things. Um, and then obviously get ready for, for Thursday night. You know, my assumption is we're probably the late game. Um, so we'll have to get all that set up and again, look at it, learn, um, and have a short memory and, and look, look at this as a great opportunity. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. Bruce. Yeah, a couple quickies, and uh, Bubba was unbelievable tonight with five goals. Is there thoughts in your mind, number one, to get them more into the attack or more into the offense, number one. And number two, 21 shots. That seems almost impossible. What went wrong there? What was Hopkins doing to even stop us from getting off shots? I think it's a lot of things. I, I, I'm with you 100%. 21 shots, you're not going to win a lot of games that way. But again, everything works together. You know, you kind of look at it. You know, we had seven shots in the first. That was by far our best. Um, I felt like that, that was a a period where we had better possessions and we did a good job. But I think some of those were, you know, self-inflicted wounds, you know, a lot of turnovers, um, you know, just kind of stopping ourselves at times. Um, so, again, can't not going to win many games with 21 shots, and I, I agree with you 100%. As to Bubba? Uh, listen, more. listen. I think we always try to put our players in a position to be successful, and and Bubba's one of those great players. So uh, I think anything's on the table. You know, we'll kind of look at you know what we're doing and, and see if we can do it better and, and make those necessary changes. Patrick, uh, first for Bubba and then for Curtis, how much did you guys kind of get in your get yourselves in a spot where those possessions in those middle two quarters, maybe you pressed a little bit there in those sort of situations? And Curtis, just what sort of pressure was on you guys? Uh, with them having the ball as much as they did, especially in this one. Yeah. You can go first. Yeah, so. sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, they had the ball a lot. Um, credit to them. They they did a really good job in the middle of the field. You know, they beat us up on the ground balls like right there in the second quarter. I'm looking at ten ground balls. We only had four. Uh, you know, that, that's kind of just uh, a little disappointing on my part. Um, 
I feel like we could have done a lot better on the ground uh, and, you know, just just played a little bit more turbo cross. Um, you know, they outdid, they outdid us tonight, you know, tip our hat to them. They had a really great uh, offense. You know, they were moving everywhere. Um, you know, they got us in some transition goals, uh, and they just did a really good job um, in the middle of the field. Um, I mean, first first quarter we kind of came out offense and we were we were feeling it, and then uh, I think the defense the defense coach did an awesome job of making adjustments. So it, it didn't come as easy for the second quarter. I think that put a lot more pressure on us offensively. So, well, but obviously not the result you wanted as a team today, but five goals for you individually, and a lot of those came on time and room shots. What do you think was working so well for you specifically on offense today? Um, I mean, I think I think. Jared, Logan, I mean all the all the guys on offense really put me in like a good spot to succeed. I mean, those guys are phenomenal players and they're drawing so much attention that sometimes, you know, they just forget about a guy on the backside and so tonight it just so happened to me be, uh, be me, but I mean with this team with so many talented players like every every other night's going to be somebody else. So Curtis, you got kind of some of the challenges a uh, player like Joey I've seen on attack can present you guys. Oh uh, yeah, Joey's a really great guy. Uh, you know, he's he's quick. Um, He's got those low angle shots. He does a really good job. Um, you know, all of their tactics. You know, Cole Williams. You know, he's a very physical guy. Um, you know, Scotty Mar. Wait, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Mar. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, you know, he's pops in a good space. He's got a good shot, good release. They they all three do a really great job down there. Um, it showed tonight. You know, they, they got the best of us. Um, you know, that's basically it. Uh, for Bob and Curtis, you know, when you guys you know have to give away the trophy at the end there. What's the feeling like, and you know, you knowing you have another shot at them Thursday night to avenge you tonight? What's what's going through your mind right now in, in, in regards to Thursday night Thursday night's matchup? Uh, I just think we kind of need a reset. Um, I mean, obviously we're really frustrated with tonight, but our coach always talks about you know next play, next game mentality. So we're just going to come back Monday ready to work, um, and yeah, we're going to be we're going to have a little chip on our shoulder coming into this game. So, Curtis. Uh, yeah, tonight's a, a really good one for us. You know, we get to watch the film. You know, we get to digest what we got to do um, defensively in the middle of the field on offense. Uh, it's going to be a really good learning point for us. Um, just lucky that it's not the end of our season and we can keep battling. Um, you know, get that second shot at them. We'll be ready. Anything else, guys? All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.